So I'm going to try to make this update quick, but in the previous video I demonstrated this motor directly mounted to the scale to do a simple thrust test. Now I've decided to go with the 3S motor and in the video I actually had this uh, gym fan prop spinning in the opposite direction it's designed for to actually create a downward thrust so that we could get a reading on the scale just to get a ballpark figure of what type of thrust is generated. Well several of you pointed out that running this prop in the opposing direction there's actually quite a bit of loss. It's not the same as uh, rotating it counterclockwise in the case of this prop. So what I'm going to do in this video is run it clockwise opposite of how it should be spun and then I'll mount it upside down so that we can spin it in the correct direction and see what kind of thrust it generates then. Okay we're going to do this test. This is a little rig I 3D printed. It's taped on. Definitely not the greatest design but it should be sufficient for this test. So let me go ahead and we're at right about one ounce and we're going to do the throttle up. Looks like we were at about a little over, a little over five ounces. That's with it going in the reverse direction. Let me go ahead and flip it upside down and then we'll do a test with it rotating properly. Okay so here we are mounted prop inverted spinning in the proper direction so let's go ahead and do this test. I'm going to throttle up so wow that put us at about seven and a half ounces we start at one so six and a half ounces times four I calculate is about 700 almost 750 grams of thrust and once again this weighs about 350 so we definitely overcome that two to one thrust to weight ratio so my expectation will be once we get everything mounted and wired up at about 50 percent throttle we should hopefully be able to get this mini FPV quad to hover this isn't highly scientific but data is definitely conclusive and thank you for everyone that posted that spinning this prop in the opposite direction of the way it should be spun is not inversely proportional to spinning it in the right direction so definitely thank you guys for that I don't want to have a bunch of misleading information out there and the fact is you know I do a lot of this in the garage I'm still learning as much as I can and I'm just thankful for you that you guys call any errors to my attention. So feel much better about this now. I'm gonna get everything mounted up. We'll take it for another test flight in the next video. And until then, thanks for watching.